in addition to traditionally you know, shooting and bringing back and doing post-production on a piece, there's now a, an industry demand for us to be able to provide these capabilities with live streaming. And with that, there is a new requirement right, of CPU processing power and GPGPU processing power. We partnered with Thrillbox to uh, compress and also live stream 360 uh, and VR content. Um, we've been trying to do uh, 4K, uh, 3840 by 2160 UHD video streaming for about two years uh, with the existing uh, single CPU uh, from Intel. Uh, and we, we were able to get close. We were able to get about 99% of the CPU usage and but we were still dropping frames. We could not complete, uh, completely uh, stream live consistently. A couple weeks ago, we were approached by um, one of Live Nation and C3's sister companies with interest in live streaming some of their concerts, uh, like ACL Music Festival. And we had the capability and the technology to stream 360 degree video, but our, our rigs themselves and our CPU were actually maxing out and dropping frames and not really doing the job properly. We've been working on streaming 360 video content and the biggest challenge we've had is maxing out our CPU. And we found out that Box and AMD have a partnership with the Threadripper. So we reached out and they sent us over one of their brand new boxes. And not only were we able to reduce the CPU down to 20%, but we were able to encode and deliver video faster than real time. I've never seen that before. And it's, it's just blows my mind that Box and AMD have done this. So thank you. This is incredible. And we were able to stream 3840 by 2160, 30 frames a second video at about 20 to 35 percent of the CPU usage. So we believe we can go to 60 and maybe even 120 frames a second, which would get you over the 90 threshold of VR content to not make you nauseous. Thanks to Box and the Threadripper, we were able to cross that threshold and, and go, um, I would guess, way beyond it. In a period of a week and a couple days, we were able to demo 4K live 360 streaming uh, to, to Frontgate and their partners and didn't have any problems. Most importantly, when we look at Threadripper technology for live streaming, it's understanding that with traditional CPUs that are available, maybe you're using an Intel i7 for example, sure you can do live streaming, but you don't have a lot of room for error. And you know you could be pushing out at 90 plus percent the CPU usage of a device. In contrast to when we, we changed over to the Threadripper, we're now pushing out 4K 360 video streams over 4G with no Wi-Fi connection to a mobile device at around seven megabit per second. And that's actually coming from us compressing the stream using the Threadripper and we're only using anywhere from 24 to about 40% of the CPU usage on the, the, the computer. So you can tell that's a drastic difference and it gives us the flexibility to start to add additional layers of information that we might want to inject into the sequence or the scene. Um, it's that type of flexibility we think is important to be able to future-proof the delivery of the content. So you'll be able to stream your VR content, stream your 360 content, and that will open up this new technology, this new medium that we're using to tell stories and, and put you places where you may not be able to go. Uh, you could have a virtual presence. Our compression technology will allow that to happen over mobile networks, and that is a huge step forward for VR, AR, and 360 video. And we've been very fortunate to get to work with Box Technology to have one of the first Threadrippers you know, off the line and actually in a device that we've been able to test to, to actually break some pretty amazing records thus far for uh, distributing 360 video content uh, via live stream to mobile devices. We, we could have went out and built our own computer uh, with the Threadripper in it, but that doesn't actually give you the performance that you get with a box technology box because they spend all the time it takes developing drivers, developing BIOS, making sure all the components work so well together that you get an efficiency that you just can't build yourself.